Hello and welcome back to another episode of D-Dubs Plays. We're back here in Sandy Shores and in our last episode we uh, did lots of decoration along the highway here and around the interchange which I think turned out really nicely. Uh, we also expanded this suburban area here and we added our first park life park over here. And I realised in editing that I completely forgot to put the fence around the uh, back corner there which uh, drove me nuts when I realised so we'll get to fixing that in a minute. Uh, plan for this episode is to uh, put in our first bus route and we will also start working on the beach area down here and then if there's time I might start laying out some of the road network over on this side of the uh, river but we'll see if we get to that. First though before we start any of that we're going to start uh, fixing this park up. So I also realised that I didn't actually check the entertainment value on this park to see what we needed to level it up so um, I'll just fix this fence and then we will have a look at that uh, right so that's that done and if we go to the query tool uh, so we've got the visitors that we need already and we just need uh, what's that 63 entertainment value um, so I think what I'll do is a little bit cheaty but I will just pop in another chessboard I think will be big enough to do it just pop a chessboard in about there and yep that was enough so uh, now we've got the gazebo 1 and gazebo 2 unlocked and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this chessboard again and I'm going to think about how we're going to lay this park out a little bit more now. I mean, so far I've just been kind of plopping things in um, just to get the entertainment value. But now it's time to start thinking about how I really want to lay it out. So I think we're going to start by moving this. Um, we'll just pop it over here for a minute. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, let's uh, replace the missing path. <laughs> oh, you gotta love this game sometimes. Okay, we wanna go onto curved and that should be perfect. Right. Now, yeah, I think I want that space, so I'm going to need to move that again. Uh, right, let's pop it there. So I think I want to move that to there. And then I'm going to put this over here. And then I'm going to pop in another one of those plazas give it a bit of symmetry either side of the main gate yeah I think that looks okay um, and then maybe we'll pop the park info booth just in this little gap here um, yeah I can work with that and then we're going to put a couple of gazebos in. Uh, I think we'll put one, put one just in this gap here. Uh, just about there looks fine. And we'll put one over towards this end as well. Um, that one there. Now let's uh, have a quick look, see how our entertainment value is doing. So yeah, we've still got quite a long way to go to get to the uh, entertainment value that we need for the next level up. Um, I think I'll pop a little time lapse in here. I'll uh, do a little bit of work, figure out how I wanna put stuff in. I might have to repeat a couple of assets just to, uh, just to get the entertainment value up to get to the next star level but yeah um, yeah I'll be back with you in a minute
welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the little time lapse there. Uh, whilst I was working, I reached level four on this park. So um, I did pop in the uh, level four asset, which is this little uh, children's playground here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, put lots of trees about, uh, made it look nice and pretty. Um, I think it turned out quite nicely. Uh, it's only a small park, um, but yeah, it fits quite nicely in the area there. Uh, I also went ahead and did a decorating pass in the district here, so we've got lots more trees and things about. I put a, a little custom plaza in just there, and a tiny little custom children's play park as well. Um, I do apologise, I seem to be losing my voice at the moment, so uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit croaky. Um, yeah, I went through most of the district here. Um, I did leave this space here blank because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to put something else in there at some point but I haven't decided what that's going to be yet so uh, I thought I'd just leave that bit there and uh, I left the ends here as well I'll, uh, I'll come back and do these on a decorating pass um, when we do uh, along the sides of this road here I also realised that I am an idiot um, I don't know why it's taken me so many years to realise that but yes I, I am an idiot <laughs> I realised that uh, the zoning specialisation that I'm looking for for this area is actually this one right here, leisure specialisation, which as you can see we have not yet unlocked. Uh, the one that I had unlocked, the tourism specialisation, uh, that's, that doesn't contain the buildings that I'm planning to put along this beach, so um, yeah we're actually going to leave the beach for a little while. <laughs> Yep, we, uh, we will get to it, but uh, not, not today. So instead we're going to come on over here and we're going to start thinking about how we're going to lay things out over here. I think I'm going to concentrate on the residential district, which uh, will bring this road down here. Uh, so we want to go with one of those and we're just going to bring it down. I need to put my uh, snapping guidelines back on. There we go. Um, so we're going to bring it down about there, I think. Um, yeah, that should do. Does that look good? Yeah, that'll do. Um, and then we'll bring it around. Now, I know we want to go down this way somewhere, but I'm not entirely sure where just yet. I know we're probably going to want a highway interchange here somewhere. Uh, this obviously is going to be a farming district and I'm probably going to put a forestry district on this side. Uh, this area here I think is going to make a really nice spot for the airport. It's a nice large area um, which yeah, it should suit, suit an airport build quite nicely. Um, and we're probably going to want a bridge or something to access the airport from over here as well. But... Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to lay things out on that side just yet. Um, but this side we're going to have a little residential district. Going to try and give it a bit more of a spaced out feel, make it feel a bit more uh, rural. So I think what we'll do for now, we'll just run the road over here. Um, we'll decide what we want to do with that at a later date. Uh, I think we'll flatten this land out a little bit because it is uh, very bumpy over here. It's not going to be very good for building on at all. Uh, so let's get our terraforming tools. And uh, we'll just uh, make it nice and smooth over here. Smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. Um, yeah, that is the largest brush size. It's... Uh, Now I want to be a little bit careful as I come over here because I want to uh, make sure that it blends in reasonably naturally. We're not going to be buying this tile up here so we can't change the terrain uh, beyond that point. Um, so I think I will I'll get the soften tool. We'll just soften things up a little bit along here. Just try and make sure it blends nicely with the terrain behind it but still looks quite nice and soft uh, for us to build on uh, so I can probably push that up just a touch more yeah I think we're probably good there 
yeah yeah I think that'll do um, I think I'll put a quick little cut in here because I want to get rid of all of these uh, bushes and as I've said before nobody wants to watch me deleting trees so I'll be back with you in a moment okay welcome back now uh, this is looking much cleaner over here so uh, let's start laying out some uh, roads now I think I want to uh, you know maybe I'll use I'll use the roads with the grass um, we'll come out now, let's start over here I think uh, Right, I know what I'm going to do, I know what I'm going to do. We're going to put in a little bit of road there, and then we're going to throw in a large park. Just like that. And we're going to make this like the centerpiece for like a town square type sort of type of thing. Uh, so build the road out a little bit. There we go. I think that is it. Yeah, that's right. And one more. There we go. Down to there. there we go. Um, so now we've got a nice little centerpiece. Um, we will so just off centre for the road, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, maybe we'll come. Bring the road down from here and from here. There we go. Um, and we're going to want to put some commercial districts. I think. I think we want to paint this uh, this whole area with a district tool first, and we'll set the uh, European suburbia and the. Uh, organic and local produce zones because that will give us some of the smaller buildings that I think will fit the theme of the area that I'm going for a bit better so um, let's go with the organic and local produce in commercial and then uh, no it's not a specialization is it it's uh, There we go, European Suburbia. Okay, I think this will be the theme that I'm looking for. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to start laying out some roads and uh, see where it goes. Um, you may think if you caught my last episode that I forgot to have the usual little chat that I have. Um, I didn't forget. Uh, it was actually in the section of footage that I had to cut because uh, I went over time so um, yeah unfortunately I I had to get rid of it but um, essentially what I was talking about was how I'm uh, really happy with the progress that I've been making so far I mean obviously I've still got a ways to go um, I still lose my train of thought a lot when I'm building and uh, still catch myself saying um and ah a lot which I, I try to avoid doing but uh, yeah I think it's just one of those things that's gonna it's gonna take some practice to get used to um, I'm really not sure what I'm doing here I'm just kind of putting roads in but um, we'll see where it goes um, yeah so so yeah I, I recognize that there's still still a bit of work to do still, still a way to go but um, yeah compared to the, the, the last episode compared to my first episode was such a world of difference. I don't think I'd expected to make as much progress by this point as I have. So yeah, essentially I'm really happy with um, how I'm doing. Um, hopefully uh, hopefully you guys uh, agree and, uh, and can see that I've uh, come a long way since my first episode. Um, but yeah, it, there, there are also lots of plans coming. I've, uh, I've storyboarded a new intro sequence. It's gonna, I, I know it's going to take me quite a while to actually work on and implement, so it's probably not going to appear in an episode for a while yet. 
but yeah I've got a, a fairly clear idea in my mind now of what I want to do for my intro sequence um, uh, might be might be working on a new transition sequence as well there's there's a few ideas from the production side of things that I've got um, that I want to work on I, d I definitely need to get better at talking and doing things at the same time because um, yeah I do tend to find that if I start talking about something I stop doing things on the camera and if I start concentrating on what I'm doing I stop talking which is yeah I definitely need to practice on those those uh, skills but yeah hopefully hopefully uh, I'm still still managing to keep you engaged and uh, hopefully you're enjoying watching my cities develop um, but yeah I've, as I say I've got a lot of ideas things that are going to be coming to the channel um, over the next uh, few weeks or a couple of months or so and um, yeah just uh, gonna keep on practicing keep on uh, working on making my commentary flow a bit better and uh, hopefully keep making it uh, more entertaining and more engaging um, which obviously is the aim um, please as I've uh, said before do get into the comments section give me some feedback good and bad um, it's, it's great to be uh, recognized for what I'm doing well but it's also um, important to uh, have the things that I'm doing poorly pointed out and uh, suggestions of what I could do better which will um, really help me to make sure I'm taking things in the right direction and working on the right areas so yeah as I say please do get in the comments and uh, give me that feedback and uh, let me know of any suggestions or ideas that you have about what I can do to improve because um, yeah I think it's it, it's uh, a constant a constant uh, journey of improvement there's always something that you can do better and yeah I want I want to keep on making my channel better and better and uh, I need your help to do it so um, we have got a little bit of commercial in here now um, and then I think we'll have I really I, I have no real idea of what I'm doing here I'm just like placing roads in and, and seeing what happens um, I think we need to have a few services in this area so we've got to put uh, I think a post office would look really good on the corner um, uh, where am I looking uh, post office is in that one so let's put yeah perfect a little post office on the corner there um, Oh, we haven't got any power over here yet either. Uh, oh, I've got to. Uh, sorry, I'll just do this very quickly. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't feel ill or anything, but for some reason, my voice is just disappearing today. I have no idea why. So uh, yeah, again, I apologise if I sound a bit croaky and faint today. come off of this one over here and over the river over the highway uh, into there that will do for now we'll uh, we'll tidy that up at a late point and uh, I, hate, I hate the power lines they're ugly I try to use the uh, trick with the earthquake sensors as much as I can but we haven't unlocked earthquake sensors yet so I can't uh, I can't use that little trick um, if you don't know what that little trick is uh, Essentially, the earthquake sensor is a very, very small asset that's really easy to hide or tuck away, but obviously it will um, conduct electricity like any other building. So if you space them out a little bit just so they're just close enough to uh, connect to the electrical grid, you can uh, use those to pass the electricity instead of uh, big hideous power lines. 
I also realized that I completely forgot to put the bus routes in that I promised to put in so um, before I do anything else I'm going to put a bus routes in um, so we are going to start around about I think here's a good spot we've got a nice little footpath that comes out just there and this will service our residential area nicely and um, we'll put one just just here by the park and then we'll come along to let's go here we've got a this is a commercial district residential district there and a park there so we've got um, multiple uh, use re multiple reasons for using the bus for this stop here and essentially that's what you want your transit to do or we'll, uh, go over here next to the schools as well um, your residents aren't going to want to go from residential to residential they're going to want to go from residential to either work shopping or entertainment so um, you want to try and make sure that your bus routes are hitting those areas um, to ensure that your citizens are getting to where they need to go um, I don't really want to put bus lines on the arterial road here but I think I'm gonna to have to because we need to get passengers access to the industrial area over here and to the ore area up here um, so where do I want it I think what I'll do is I'll put one on the local road before we get to the arterial and then I'll put another one um, I think yeah about there's good yeah, we'll put another one there so that's they should both be close enough to the industrial areas for our citizens to be able to use them to get to and from work um, I think it might be a nice idea to pop another one in to service this residential area and then we'll come back out onto the arterial and we'll go I think yeah I think that's a good spot we've got footpaths either side of the bus stop and then we're gonna have a train station around here somewhere as well so I think that works well um, and then we can we can't cut through the residential zone so we'll go around the side here I'm not sure why I've got uh, empty houses oh, oh it might be death, death care um, I'll check in a moment uh yeah let's put one more stop here near these uh shops and then we'll put we'll finish the loop there and then we want to do exactly the same again going in the opposite direction um it is important to have bus routes going both ways because uh citizens will still calculate the shortest route um to their destination so if i've got somebody here who wants to go up to i don't know this shop and the only route is the one that goes all the way around in that direction it's going to be a lot quicker for that person to just get in a car and drive than it is to take the bus however if we've got a route going in both directions then um, the opposite direction might prove a short enough route for them to prefer the public transport um, yeah I hope that made sense but yeah it's, essentially it's important to make sure your transit routes are going in both directions uh, but yeah, we've uh, almost finished this now. Just put in stops exactly opposite the stops that we already put in on the first route. Um, and there we go, that one's complete as well. Now, um, I've been chatting to another creator, a guy called uh, The Frustrated Canadian. Um, also does City Skylines content and uh, yeah it's uh, quite quite an entertaining watch so go check his channel out um, but yeah I was talking to him about the vehicles of the world DLC which I will uh, just have a quick little talk about now um, what am I looking for that one so if you go on to your transport routes you have the ability to change the buses now if you don't have the DLC you'll uh, 
might have the school bus if you've got university or campus DLC and you might have the airport bus if you've got the airport DLC um, but the vehicles of the world also gives you bendy bus double decker bus mini bus and super bendy bus um, a super bendy bus I think actually has the same capacity as a tram I think it's 150 passengers they are very long and they will get in the way of traffic so they'll slow things down a bit but um, yeah they're a great option if you find your bus routes are getting a bit clogged um, just to be able to put uh, higher capacity buses in uh, vehicles of the world also contains higher capacity trams and trains and there are also alternative vehicles for the uh, medical clinic the police station um, as you can see we've got police supercar looks really cool uh, mobile command center police car um, there's fire engines there is uh, ambulances where is the medical there's the medical clinic uh, yeah there's uh, different ambulances as well um, yeah it's a good little pack it's a content creator pack so it's one of the cheaper ones that you can get and um, I think it's worth the investment just for the higher capacity transport options um, yeah it really makes a difference especially on bus routes which uh, have such a small capacity I think that we're getting abandoned buildings because we've got a bit of a death wave going on um, let me just have a quick look at death care uh, our cemetery is almost full actually so that uh, that could be a bit of an issue uh, we're gonna have to put another cemetery in somewhere I think our new area over here will probably need a cemetery and uh, uh, the little church that comes with it there we go that'll do right I'm gonna call it an episode right there but you guys don't have to wait a whole week to see how the uh, new district develops because I'm going to be dropping a bonus midweek episode this week um, I always record more than I need to and I usually end up cutting a lot of it but I decided during the editing process that actually this week I'm going to do something a bit different and I've turned it into two episodes instead so if you would like to catch my random ramblings when I'm pretty sure that most of what I'm saying is going to get cut and of course see how our new district develops then catch me on Wednesday when I will be dropping the second part of that district being developed uh, don't forget to check out the frustrated Canadian I'll uh, leave a link to his channel in the description and I will catch you in the next one <laughs>